All right, guys, I'm gonna show you how to replace the uh, DC jack in your Sony Vio. Uh, this model is a SVE 17. So first, what you need to do is uh, take a keyboard out, and that is just simply done by taking a, um, a plastic pry tool of some sorts and getting in between here and prying up. So once you got all this front, uh, the top piece here pried up, just kind of lift up here, and then your connectors would be right there. And all these do is just, they just flip up. You want to disconnect this one by pulling back. This one you just you know flip up the lever and you pull it out. Flip up this little lever and you pull this one out. And this one's also, if you have a backlighted uh, keyboard, you'll have to take the backlight cable off too. Same way on this one and that one. So once you have that removed, oh, and you can tell that this one's broke. Yeah. It's supposed to look like this. So once you get that all done, flip it over. First you you want want to take, <clears throat> first you want to take your battery out, so. And there'll be three screws under your battery, three small ones. Take them out and then take all the Phillips head screws out all the way around the laptop. You don't have to mess with the memory. Um, you will have to take your hard drive out. And that's as simple as taking out one screw over here and then taking this and sliding it back. And for the DVD drive, you got one bolt here and then you just uh, pry with your fingers and pull it out. And like I said, all the bolts all the way around here. And then this will simply just pry up. You'll have to use a plastic tool or something of some sorts to get in there. I mean, you can use a, a metal screwdriver, but you'll probably wind up messing up the plastic. But just go all the way around. This will just simply pull right off. Now what we got is a bunch of ribbon cables. Yes, you have to take the motherboard out. That's what I'm about to do now, but it's pretty simple. You just want to go around and take off all the cables that you see. This one over here for the um, USB ports I'm thinking about just leaving that one in because it's pretty hard to get to anyhow. This way I can just push the motherboard over this way and then just flip it over. I don't have to worry about that one. And these things here, they just pull off and when you put them back on, they just push right back on to their uh, original spots. And make sure uh, you remember which one they go to. Um, I don't think it matters because they're just antennas. But um, you might want to make sure those go in the right spots. Well, didn't have to remove that. You can leave the heat sink on if you want to. You just have to remove this one screw here. There's two screws for the um, battery connection. One screw way over here. And those look to be all the same length. 
And then, like I said, this one over here that holds the heat sink in. I'm thinking that's might be it. some reason it's not wanting to come apart right there oh I see it's on these little plastic dowel pins yep. I'm just going to flip it right over just like that and this is what we want to get to right here. I'll get you zoomed in here. Now you'll have to take the uh, the two hinge screws out, and these will be different sizes, so I think. They look different anyway. No, they're uh they're the same. Take them two out, and then you just pry up on this, move it out of your way, and then I'm guessing there's two screws here. Now, for this screw, this the little ground cable goes on with it, so. And when we put this back in, we'll have to, yeah, make sure the uh, open end right here faces down. And then we just unroute it. What in the world? I got some tape. Peel that off. We won't be reusing that. Some more tape. There we have it. New one. Hmm. All right, well, that's in. So it's just a uh, reverse of removal. And what you do is make sure you uh, route this cable real tightly. Um, try to take up all the slack you can. And this ground cable down here was a bit of a pain, but oh well. And this uh, connector in here does actually fit really tight. Um, this one was so loose because it was actually busted. My camera will focus. Yeah. Can't really see it too well, but the sides are busted off of it. So, make sure you put your hinges in real tight, hinge bolts. You don't want them coming loose. So, yeah, there you go.